On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're taking a quick tour of the Northwest Roundup and Exhibition in Swan River. Of course, there's a midway. We'll talk about that, but there's some other really neat things here that I think you should see. So stick around till the end and find out why you may want to attend the Northwest Roundup and Exhibition. Well, certainly the kids love the rides. Nothing like the Sizzler, right? This one goes so incredibly fast. See those two on there that they're kind of the big person in the middle instead of on the outside? Huh. Well, I bet that's going really well for the person on the outside. If you've never rode that thing, it squishes you so much when you do that. Tornado as well. I've actually been on this one. It's not as scary as it looks. The rest of these, maybe not so much. I would never go on that thing. And certainly, I'm not too interested in being on this one either. They go way too fast and way too much spinning for me. You can see a little better what this one does for the air. It's called the Orbiter, and it certainly makes you feel like you're in orbit, I suppose. The kids absolutely love it. Because kids are, well, crazy. That's the best way to put it. Uh, one of the neat things with the drone, we actually flew beside a ride a little bit. Just to watch the people go by. See the guy in the blue shirt? He saw the drone, pointed it out to his kid. Then around and around they go. This one's it's fairly calm looking, but we're actually quite a ways up here. We're probably as high as a Ferris wheel at the top. So if heights aren't your thing, then it might not be it for you either. See all the people in the midway? That's what I love most about the Northwest Roundup. How busy and full of bustle it is. Look at the parking lot. Cars everywhere and the crowds on in the grounds enjoying the rodeo, enjoying the midway and all of the displays on go as well. Plus some amazing local food boosts because the food is absolutely delicious. There's nothing like a rodeo burger. On Friday morning, the Monster Parade runs right through the heart of Swan River. Busy for that as well. Look at all the people on the streets. The parade, usually 120, 130, 140 entries. The thing runs for a full mile. It's incredible just how many entries there are. And the kids, of course, always get some candy to go home with. We're just doing highlights on this episode. We were here filming for the full weekend, so there's lots of individual things yet to come, but a bit of an overview. Here's a shot again of that crowd just coming out of the grandstand as the nighttime performance wraps up. Oh, it is fun, isn't it? I know some people hide from the excitement, but lots of people love the crowd like I do. You get to see all the friends you haven't seen for a while. Let's hop into the Down on the Farm exhibit. Lots of animals to pet here, but also some really interesting miniatures. This one is a miniature grain elevator. So if you've ever wondered how they work, obviously they don't look exactly like this inside, but all the theory is here. So you can see how the bins work, how the Gerber works, even how they unload the trucks and how they load up the train. This is all remote control. The kids are actually running it there that you see in the background. This was all made by some local people. It works amazing. There's a kid dumping the grain out. It's a full circle here. So after they empty the train, the truck takes it around back into the elevator. It's elevated again and eventually loaded right back onto the train. It's not the only miniatures they have here though. Check out this little grain bin complete with an auger. This is showing you kind of how the farmyard works, right? Filling up the truck with the wheat and then the truck drives around. It can actually back up to the auger and it's gonna dump it on out here into the auger. The auger will put it right back into the bin where it once was. I can't even imagine how many hours of work it took to make all this stuff, but it's an absolute favorite of the kids every year. So they have an opportunity to see how farms work because a lot of kids these days well, they just don't get to see that, do they? Teaching the kids about farms and where the foods come from is a lot of what Down on the Farm does. That's exactly what you think it is, a model threshing machine. You can't say there's a lot of these in the world, can you? But at the Northwest Roundup, there's one on display. It actually works, too. They put the wheat in the front. It threshes it. Does a pretty good job of separating, too. Ends up with the wheat in the one bin, the straw and chaff going on out the other way, just like a real threshing machine would work. At the museum, they have a full-size one of these, but this is a miniature that can travel around to displays like this and show everyone exactly how it worked. I spent some time interviewing Mr. Harvey, who built this thing. Uh, that's him in the picture there. In a full episode later on, you'll see exactly how that thing works, plus all those miniatures a little more in-depth in case you can't make it down. Well, here's one of my absolute favorite parts of the fair, the Midway at Night. Check out all the lights. It's so bright and so loud and so amazing how you simply have to go or else you're going to be missing out. That's our quick peek at the Northwest Roundup and Exhibition. Hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button on the channel and share the video to make sure all your friends know about Travels with Bill. We'll see you next time on the next episode.